Hi guys, I'm going to show you a super cool project, how to recycle old t-shirts and make little decoration. So these are pom-poms that I made earlier. They are made from t-shirts. There's another one, white one. They're pretty cool. And I really like the design. You see how nicely curled up the shirt is. Fun little project and very, very simple. So all you need is a bunch of stripes of t-shirts. I like a uh, three quarter inch, inch maximum, otherwise it's kind of big. So you just cut t-shirt into stripes basically. Then you need scissors and you need cardboard. I like to use a cereal box actually. And you need to make two circles, two identical circles. This way I should show you. So I use right here five inch and then I cut one inch in the middle and I made this little slot, slot. I don't know how to pronounce it, little tiny tunnel. I will show you in a second how useful it is. So this is the basic, the two circles. Then you, whenever you are using your stripes, try to pull them a little bit. This is what you get with the stripe when you cut it. And this cute, you see how nicely pipe-like it is when you turn it. Some t-shirts have the edges so that was the bottom of the t-shirt so i cut these off because i don't like them so you have two circles you put them down and then you grab a piece that's about 15 inches or shorter i get 12 inch because it's a small circle and you put that one like so between the two circles you put another circle on the top of it so you will end up with this these two ends have to always be down here you don't want to lose them it's a very common mistake okay and then you grab another strip you pull it and somehow whatever way you manage do you see how I just held this down you wrap it all the way around and that's where this little tunnel comes in handy. This is the two ends. You always make sure you have them down. And this is how you wrap the stripes or the material around. It's a little tricky at the beginning if you are making it with the kids. Um, do the beginning stage for them because otherwise they will get frustrated and wouldn't enjoy it. So now I have the end of the stripe and I just fold it under. On the end when the pom-pom is ready we basically cut off everything and you can trim it. So if you have um, like a little extra longer piece you can easily trim it and make it symmetrical. So you will continue doing this. You have a stripe, you stretch it, wrap it all the way around, blah blah blah. You end up with something like that. Again, remember, those two ends are what I really, really, really need. You grab sharp scissors, put this down, put your hand on the top, and you will cut the edges. You need sharp scissors. You can actually put your scissors between those two cardboards. It's a little bit easier. And you cut. You should use sharp scissors, but not your most valuable scissors that you would use for fabric when you're sewing, because there's quite a potential that you will destroy them. <laughs> no, I mean it. It's the thickness of the fabric and the way you are cutting. This part kids may need help with, because it requires a little strength. So I all the way around now I have my two ends I make a knot and I pull on both sides I make another knot because I never trust one knot Ta-da! and now I take off the cardboard and you should end up with something like that but you can of course fluff it up and make it more round you can shake it up and now you can have fun um, cutting off the edges 
the ends, I mean the excessive ends, the ones that are longer. Watch out, it's very satisfying. And it reminds me very much cutting my bangs when I was <clears throat> a kid. You go, you trim one side, you fix other side, and you end up with a toothbrush on your forehead. Anyhow, this is the pom-pom. We are done. It's pretty easy, pretty cool, and fun. I will post some instructions on Hannah Mate on Facebook as well. Thank you for watching.